and welcome to the Woodland Craft Series. Today we'll be interviewing Anna Cassily, a professional spoon carver from Gloucestershire. My name's Amy and I hope you enjoy the interview. I use forest grown timber, so it's timber grown reaching for the light, so it's not like stuff grown out in the, out in the open where it's really twisted and kind of strong against the wind and branches yeah. everywhere. It's reaching for the light, the fibres are like going straight up, sunlight, and there's bigger gaps between the knots and it's just sweeter to carve. I tend to use a lot of um, forest grown wild cherry because it's just lovely. But um, today I was using a manky bit of dry sycamore. This axe is, um, is an Elwell, it's a Kent pattern, so it's an old English axe and it belonged to my granddad. And there was just something really nice about a Kent pattern because it's just really narrow on the head so you can kind of get right in and go down the straight line. And it's just, you can be really dainty with it because I can chop out, you know, a spoon smaller than this quite happily with this axe. And if I had anything heavier, you, kinda just, you can't stop it so easily. I know, there's just something about the, the spice, I absolutely love it. cheerful more a push knife because and that's for the stems and yeah, shaping out the bottom and it's just you know it's a surprisingly dexterous tool and it's just about finding where that bevel point is and controlling it spoon knife made by Nick Westerman which are lovely and even I even sharpen them but it means if I, if I use it as almost like paddling I've got much more leverage I've got about 120 pounds weight on the bottom of my carving vice and you know I can you know push against myself and hold a spoon taut for that much but on a carving vice it's like paddling a boat the most ladylike thing you can do. Because it's, it's just all this. <laughs> and it's really useful because you've got this <laughs> extra pivot. Tell me about the spoons that you sell, um, these cooking spoons. Why did yeah. you choose to sell cooking spoons predominantly? You know, everybody's got their favourite cooking spoon and they use it to make food for people they love and that's really beautiful and to kind of know that I've made the spoon that somebody will grab you know and use every day to make food for people they care about 
I really like that. Mm. I played on my mate's sound system at Glastonbury. Did a little secret gig. <laughs>